Police have filed charges against a Tupelo, Mississippi man linked to the Ryson letter sent to President Obama, a U.S. Senator, and a judge. 41-year-old martial arts instructor James Everett Dutchke was taken into custody on Saturday morning and turned over to the U.S. Marshal's office. He has been charged with possessing, developing, and stockpiling a biological toxin. Earlier in the week, Dutchke went into hiding after his home was searched by dozens of officials, some even in hazmat suits. Dutchke denies all allegations against him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recognize Ryson if I saw it. Everybody has something suspicious in their house. But no, there's nothing that's related to these letters. Dutchke's name first surfaced in a federal court Monday. The man originally charged with sending the letters, Paul Kevin Curtis, claimed Dutchke tried to frame him as a result of an ongoing feud between the two. The Los Angeles Times reports Dutchke was a member of Mensa, the club for people with high IQs. A few years ago, Curtis posted a fake Mensa certificate on his Facebook page. And when Dutchke discovered the post, he said, I threatened to sue him for fraud for posting a Mensa certificate. That is a lie. But the arrest of one and then the other, experts say, doesn't reflect well on law enforcement. No one is more embarrassed and sorry than the FBI and the U.S. Attorney's Office. They are only after the real person responsible. So who is James Everett Dutchke? Well, as it turns out, his past puts him in direct relation with Mississippi Judge Sadie Holland, who a Ryson letter was addressed to. Her son, Steve Holland, it's worth noting, ran against Dusky uh, for a seat in the Mississippi House in 2007. Dutchke lost in a lopsided election to Steve Holland that year. A witness to a speech Dutchke gave said that it included harsh criticism of Steve Holland, and Sadie reportedly chastised him for that. However, it is worth noting that Paul Kevin Curtis, the initial suspect, also has ties to Sadie Holland. She was the presiding judge in a 2004 case where he was found guilty of assaulting a Tupelo attorney and was sentenced to six months in jail. And Dutchke also has ties to Senator Whitker, who was sent one of the letters. According to the Clarion Ledger, these new charges are not the only ones Dutchke is currently fighting. He is presently the subject of a child molestation charge that reportedly resulted in the closing of Dutchke's martial arts studio earlier this year. If Dutchke is found to be behind the Ryson letters, he could face a maximum sentence of life in prison. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey. Multiple sources, a broader view.